Welcome to my presentation. It was created in 1886 by Louise and Charles Rochette. This statue of Charlemagne is outside of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. It is an equestrian piece. On top of the horse is Charlemagne. The statue of Charlemagne outside the cathedral reads Charlemagne et ses Louis, which translates to Charlemagne and his noble guards. Charlemagne, or Charles the Great, was the king of the Franks. He united Western Europe in the Middle Ages and became the first Holy Roman Emperor in 800 AD. The statue is located outside of the Cathedral Notre Dame in Paris. It was built under the reign of Louis VII after the Bishop Maurice de Sully deemed the previous Paris Cathedral unworthy. These symbols of power include his ludes or guards and his horse, cape, rod, staff, and crown, which make him seem very powerful and kingly. In this picture, you can notice all of these objects. Traditionally, ludes or guards were only the strongest and bravest tribe members or warriors that guarded the chief. They usually served on horseback when the greater nation fought on foot, but here you can see Charlemagne surrounded by two ludes on either side. They both make him seem very unapproachable and powerful. Charlemagne's horse in this picture brings Charlemagne even higher above us, making Charlemagne seem even more like a warrior or battle front figure. Charlemagne also developed a limp in his left leg in his later years, and as a result was often on horseback, and many times artists would portray him this way. Charlemagne's crown was the ultimate sign of power and kingly ship. Upon it, a cross was mounted and jewels bedazzled. It was beautiful, and later he would give a crown much like it to his grandson, which would be called the crown of Charlemagne and would be passed down to later kings of France. In this picture, Charlemagne is holding a scepter, which represents his power and authoritative position in the Christian church. Usually accompanied by an orb, these three objects, a crown, orb, and staff, which Charlemagne is depicted having in this picture, represent an authoritative position in the Christian Church, which, as Holy Roman Emperor, Charlemagne had obtained. Charlemagne was such a great warrior on the battlefield, intended to lead his troops into battle, so he wore a blue cape so that every one of his soldiers could see him and spot him. Charlemagne was considered to be a colorful king, and his subjects loved to brag about him. It was this same bragging nature that made the French people and government want to commemorate Charlemagne in front of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Charlemagne's height is widely debated among historians. Many think he is over six feet tall and had long blonde hair. He was he always seemed to be laughing or joking or singing. Charlemagne was not one to sit on the throne and rule. He was always roaming about always through his countryside, castles, and many villages that he ruled. He loved his dogs very much and had them accompanying with him. This statue is propaganda that brags about the strong past of, of the Franks, which today's generations are reminded about with this beautiful piece of propaganda created to remind the French people of their strong roots. It was created by Charles and Louis Rouchette and sits outside of this beautiful Notre Dame Cathedral in downtown Paris, France.